All right. What it do, y'all? It's your boy Jones representing our OD. As you can see, it's the Repent or Die podcast. I just wanted to come out and just give you just a brief. I'm trying to keep it as brief as possible, y'all. Just give y'all a brief recap of what I just witnessed today. So, tonight, well, recently, I say like 10 minutes ago, I was watching the recap between Kwame Brown and Hassan Campbell. If y'all don't know who Kwame Brown is, Kwame Brown was a basketball player who was a first round pick who's been picked on because he didn't live up to the expectations of a first round pick. I won't call him a bust because son made it, made the money to get his family, like he says, he brought his mother to the golf course. And I appreciate that, I support that, all for that. Cool. But I don't know who, who Hassan Campbell is. This is a brother that was molested or in a situation with African Bimbada, etc. I want to get into that. What I want to get into is while they was having this discussion, there was a brother that was from Chicago and he just said some things that really didn't sit well with me. And seeing somebody as knowledgeable as Kwame Brown. It, it, it really it really bothered me and it, it literally irked a few buttons so I had to take the time out and address this brother okay for one brother man we are not we are not from America okay stop calling Native Americans whoever was on the indigenous people of this land supposedly the people of this land if you don't know your history bro okay the people the native americans that was here left fled babylonian persecution bro you understand me you read that through the scriptures it's documented i have books you can look at i have a i have a i have a library we'll give y'all a, a, a glance these are all books books full of information and I have even more books that I didn't even touch on that proves and give clear indication who we are and where we come from. Now, as far as this conscious movement, you know, everybody being quote unquote black extremists and all of that, there's no such thing as being a black extremist. There's something being over, uh, over passionate of delivering the truth to our people. So when you say, oh, we're not black, quote unquote Hebrew Israelites, then what are we? Explain to me what are we? I'm not Egyptian. We not I'm not, we will never see me claiming to be nobody's Egyptian. Because nobody that's claiming to be Egyptian don't even know what city, etc. I know for a fact that people out in the Middle East know who you are and refer to you as son of Yahuquab. You know what that means? Son of Jacob, bro. Facts. It's no if, no buts, no way around the corner. It's proven. Caucasians themselves is telling you this. Now, see, the problem is you niggas don't want to read these scriptures. Y'all want to base your struggles off black people being this, black people unable to do that. Bro, listen, the system is designed to keep a particular race above other people. It's just how life goes. People are un- in power put laws in place to make sure that they stay in power america is capitalistic society they must capitalize on somebody in order for them to be prosperous amazon is amazon because they have laborers workers doing x y and z the person that owns amazon is not doing the dirty work it's not going a to b dropping packages from house to house and building his brand no that's not how things work so when i hear you guys say the things that you're saying and i would love I'm going to put this out on YouTube. I would love for this to go to Kwame Brown and direct it to the brother. And we could sit down, me and you, Kwame Brown, as men to men. I, I respect what you're doing. I support it. I'm all for it. 
But what I'm not going to support, I'm not going to support and stand on these lies. Because you know why? Because we got people that's on this place right now that's claiming to be you. That wants you to operate a certain manner in order for you to live in a life of wickedness and sin and evil. And in return, they, they stay in their power. And the reason why you see all this COVID nonsense going on is because the children is waking up. These so-called niggas in the street, these ghetto, these gangbangers, these drug dealers, these prostitutes, these killers, these murderers, they're not doing that no more. And that's a fact. So when you saying the things that you're saying, just make sure you come with valid information. Don't just talk it for you to talk it. I want brothers to provide me with information. You must prove to me that we are quote unquote Native Americans. You must prove to me that America is our land. I I I I, I spoke to hundreds of people, bro. I've been doing I've been in this truth in this war for a very long time. I spoke to hundreds of people. I spoke to from the Caucasians all the way down to the Arabs, and every one of them will justify and claim that they know that we are the children of Israel. Now, if you don't want to believe that because you have a you have a lifestyle that you want to live, then then acknowledge that. But don't make it seem like yo, we ain't this, we ain't that. And I don't support all of this this um this, this black lives movement, all of this conscious and these, these brothers is low souls, bro. And when I hear you saying, oh yeah, New York is, is, is the pedal school of creating these type of brothers, that's not true. They got brothers all across America that is delivering the news, all across the islands, even in Africa. I can tell you where in Africa my fam my ancestors came from before they was captured and fought here, bro. It's called Benin. Yes, I can tell you that. And then my family was sent into a place called Haiti. Yes. Yes. The proof is in the pudding, bro. You guys don't want to do the research because you know once you find out that you are God's children, it comes up with a it comes with a responsibility and a requirement. And some of you guys don't want to live up to that requirement. Y'all want to justify. Y'all want to smoke weed. Y'all want to talk to three, four, five different women. Y'all want to fornicate. Y'all want to put children all across the world, having these children being raised by single parents. You guys want to do that because you know once you start reading the scriptures and you start understanding what the Most High requires of us, then you know, okay, so I can't do this. Damn, I can't do that. Damn, I can't eat the shrimp. Damn, I can't eat the lobster. Damn, I can't do none of these things. And that's the problem. You guys want to live a lifestyle. Y'all want to live that lifestyle. But don't make it seem like, oh, you, you know, you guys, you know, you, you, these black Hebrew Israelites. First of all, nowhere in the scriptures are we referred to as black Hebrew Israelites. It's only one particular race of people. It's a bloodline, bro. Everything that's going on in this world is about a bloodline. It's about control. It's about power. It's only two people that was ordained to have the rulership of this earth. It was either the white man or it's going to be the brother man. Okay? Ishmael is in line. Ishmael, which you'll call your mind and the Arab, are in line with the white man. They took the oath, they did business with each other, they broke bread. When you read Psalms 83, you get a full understanding. They said to make sure that Israel will never be in your remembrance again. So you can claim to be anything in the world. You can be a homosexual, you can be, you can be African, you can be an Egyptian, you can be a Native American, you can claim to be African American, you can claim to be Jamaican, Haitian, you can claim to be anything on the face of this earth. You can claim as a man to be a woman and play in women's sports. You can do all of that. But the moment you stand on being the children of Israel, that's where the problem comes. And that's why they're shutting down the country. And that's why they want y'all vaccinated. And that's why they want brothers to be led astray by individuals like yourself who don't have the full understanding that's going, that's basing their knowledge based on studies that was delivered to them by the enemy, bro. The Bible is the word of God, bro. Everything that's happened in the Bible is intuition. 
culture when you hear when you hear people like you know the bible is a fairy tale book so explain to me sodom and gomorrah google sodom and gomorrah right now you will still see burnt ashes on on rocks they'll turn they'll break it off the off the off the mountain and go like this and it will turn into dust you know when you when you look at when you look at the red sea they still got chariots to this day under the water bro explain that when the Bible tells you about Nephilim, these giants, and UPC archaeologists finding big ass heads and stones, explain that, bro. Explain that to me. When you see the Most High says he let the rainbow come across the sky, so every time it finished raining, he put the rainbow in the sky as a covenant to let you know he would never flood the earth again. Explain that to me. Explain it, bro. You guys can't do that because you guys are living in a bamboozle lifestyle and caught up in believing the stupidity and want people the unlearned individuals to follow what you're doing now granted i'm supporting anything anything pro color because i am not black this is black i don't look like this my beard is black not my face you understand my, my hat is black i'm not that so i'm not going to refer to me as that because when you look up the definition of black black stands for evil and that's the that's the narrative they want to paint for the world to see i'm a colored man i'm a man of god i come i come in his image okay let's get this clear so Kwame, when you get this deliver this to homeboy so we can sit down and talk like real men chicago to new york from new york to atlanta wherever i'm not i'm not with all of this hassan nonsense i'm all about bill I'm doing things right now. I'm in the works to build. You understand? I work. I work with troubled teens. I've been doing this for a long time. I'm working with, with homeless people. I've been doing this for a long time. I'm always about helping my people. I'm not just talking it to seek attention, but I'm always going to stand on truth, bro. And guess what? Truth can never, ever, ever be argued. And I will never debate truth. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit down and have a dialogue. I'm going to build. Now the most I said, if, if a man accepts it, then you know you continue. If he doesn't, you dust your feet off and you keep it pushing. And then that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep it pushing. Because there's millions of people that's seeking the answers, that want the understanding of what the heck is going on in this world. And they don't know that judgment time is here. And it's time for brothers to get right. With that being said, it's your boy. I'ma holla at y'all. Peace.